Now to our initiative, The Rebound Arizona, a historic market closed because of the pandemic. New owners are breathing life into the Rincon market, but they're keeping the spirit of the old business alive. Nine in your size, Rahelia Amadez shows us how. The shelves are being stocked. We're hopefully on the tail end of uh, uh, the, the crazy times. Plywood and sawdust lay on the floor. The hum of new business is back at the historic Rincon market. This time though, it's called Flora's Market Run. Nathan Aries, owner of Prep and Pastry and other businesses in Tucson, is getting into the retail game at a place that's been around since the 1920s. The first phase is going to be uh, the market, which is pretty much a full-scale grocery store. The grocery store is expected to open its doors to customers next Friday. The second phase, he says, familiar territory for Aries, a restaurant and bar. Before the pandemic, though, we were uh, we had about 220 employees. As was the case for other business owners, the pandemic brought hard times. Aries says his business lost a number of good employees, but he's hoping to rebound with this new venture. I think when the market's fully up and going and say when things come back to normal, whenever that is, I think we'll be up to probably about 300 employees. He says the tone right now is optimistic for business in Southern Arizona. Arizona. The wheels are still turning uh, for business in Tucson, especially uh, in the restaurant world. For Aries, the plan is more than just moving groceries. It's willing his way out of the crazy times. I think it's a great time to start a new business. Well, at least I hope so. <laughs> the bar and restaurant are expected to open in about a month. Rogelio Mares, KGUN 9, on your side.